I think our department is a leader in research and education because of our collaborations. We have collaborations among faculty on both the geography and geology sides of the department. We have collaborations with faculty in other departments in the college and across the university, and we have collaborations with other universities and colleges across the region. The things that make our department a leader in research and education is the diversity and uh, research and skill sets and how it can be applied to address regional problems. We have students who leave who are prepared to do the jobs that need to be done, to go to graduate school and be ready for graduate school. We've changed our majors and made GIS, Geographic Information Systems, a part of every major. And so now all of our courses will be able to use that tool to, uh, in their research and in our courses and give students that experience with a tool that is really important now. GIS stands for Geographic Information System. In a very simplified sense, you, it, it's, it's a computer mapping, computer analysis of spatial information. As they graduate, the expectation is that they have an awareness of what GIS is and can begin to apply it in a technological sense. So I think one of the real strengths of the Department of Environmental, Geographical, and Geological Sciences at Bloomsburg University is our focus on local research. Our faculty have an active research agenda and our younger faculty are mentored by our senior faculty and then there's the inclusion of our students into that research. For a teaching university like Bloomsburg, it really helps to be able to incorporate students into those projects locally. Our department does a couple different kinds of research in our local watershed. And so we're looking at the effects of dam removal, we're looking at the effects of the giant stores of sediment that are still in the stream. We're also looking at the effects of stream cleaning. I'm a planetary scientist by training, and most of the research done in uh, extraterrestrial type of work is mine. I, uh, frequently go to Arecibo, Puerto Rico, and use the radar telescope there to study asteroids. I've had a few outstanding students, and I've taken a number of them with me to Arecibo. In fact, one of them helped me discover a moon of an asteroid. The students are involved in the research that I'm doing in several ways. There are students that are doing research projects, senior theses. What the senior uh, thesis does is uh, students uh, select a faculty member that they want to collaborate with on research. It's one thing when the professor is instructing the course, but when these studies are self-directed as it is with the students, we find that that leads to a lot more collaboration between the students. One great thing about our department is we still teach the fundamentals and a lot of the fundamentals are energy related and mining related, but also with the uh, concentration on renewables, uh, solar and green energy. One of the co-chairs for the Green Campus Initiative, that's uh, an environmental group on campus that involves faculty, staff, students, as well as members of the regional community. Uh, it's largely a group that, that has interest in environmental issues, issues of sustainability. So the Green Campus Initiative, we've had several different programs we've developed. The Solar Energy Kiosk is designed to explore physics and engineering concepts of how energy is produced with solar panels uh, and what electricity is. Uh, from a natural science or geoscience perspective, it's designed to focus on the environmental factors that influence power production. Everybody has a degree these days, and you want to have something that's going to separate you from all the other students and so we strongly encourage our students to seek out internships. We encourage the applied skills uh, through labs and field work and internships. Internships are a, a very important part of our curriculum in the, in the department. These are full-time internships. We're very proud of our internship program. For many, it's their first experience in a professional setting, uh, so it allows them to gain confidence. We're developing networks out there of graduates. Uh, we're developing networks out there of students who've done internships, developed very good relationships, and now we're getting calls uh, you know, not only trying to place students, but we're getting calls requesting students or setting aside funding. I think in the future the department is headed towards more community-based research. Geology especially is constantly changing and one thing that we need to be able to do is, is prepare to change with it, but still stay with the fundamentals of, of geology. We've tried to stay true to our roots. I think we pride ourselves in working closely with our students. Our faculty get along with each other really well. We talk to each other, we coordinate, and I think that definitely benefits our students. We have a really good track record of excellent teaching, I dare say, and excellent advisement.